one, it's Queen of Light 1111. I really wanted to do something a little different for today. And I wanted to give you guys um, the divine feminines and masculines that are resonating with my with the collective that I channel for. I wanted to do something a little bit different and just give you all guidance for the week. Okay. So what I did was I took out every oracle that I have that gives advice that each has a different lesson or energy. And then I clarified it with the masculine's tarot and the feminine's tarot. And then I just had to come in and do some other clarifications, other clarifications. As you know, that's what I do. So this is meant to be a um, advice. Okay, this is meant to be advice and guidance for you this week as related to your journey. So I am going to start with the divine masculine and I'm going to finish the divine masculine. Then I'm going to go into the Divine Feminines and I will finish the reading there. But I'm not going to go back and forth like I do in my energy check-ins because I want to stay in the flow of what is happening and what the guidance is for the masculine. And I want to stay in the flow for what the guidance is for the feminine. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Our masculine's first uh, message or first guidance card is this card here from the Chiro Marchetti deck, Oracles of Vision Tarot, okay? In this deck, this card is all about um, illusions, delusion, okay? And when it comes up, now I just want to make sure I have the book because it is a newer um, deck for me. And I want to make sure that you get the benefit of all of the messages. So when this card comes up, this is really about obsession, delusion, self-interest. I mean, look, right? Like, He's just looking at himself, just looking at his own face, his own picture, his own pride, his own ego. And that is clarified by the two of pentacles. So he's just kind of like in and out of like this me, me, me energy, this ego energy, and then into, you know, uh, the balancing out of that, right? The more higher vibrational energy. So when this comes up, this is really about like, Look at there's like a stream of light that's penetrating, kind of the same here, stream of light that's penetrating through the room, right? And there's just one person in there sitting in a world of his own isolation, okay? The reflections are her only companion or his only companion. So his social media, his memories are his only companion. So he's literally sitting there by himself, just looking at himself and looking at his memories. And so this represents, right, this is like the mirrors don't lie, but the obsession does, okay? And this is really about, you know, trying to create an ideal that is never achieved or in reality is like, it's like he's trying to turn himself like into this perfect person or whatever it is, have enough money, have the greatest body, have whatever, okay, that is just ego driven, and so instead, what he should be doing, the masculine should be doing, is being a true version of who he is. And if you strip away all the psychological makeup and the vanity and the ego, what's left behind is the person. And that is what he is balancing out today, okay? So the guidance to the masculine is balance out this ego and this pride because your feminine doesn't care what you look like, what condition you're in, how much money you have. She doesn't need that. And so as you sit in your isolation, thinking that that's what this feminine needs, you're just prolonging the pain, okay? So the next card that we have is the guidance card. This is from my Oracle of Angels deck, okay? And so, and all of these decks, by the way, are on my Amazon storefront, which is in the description box. So in this deck, it's fulfillment. So let me just find that book here. So Oracle of Angels. So this is the Oracle of Angels by Mario Dubois. And so this fulfillment um, card, this is all about, you know, having, you know, fulfillment, like realization of a dream. Like, look, like something's like six is the number of harmony. Okay. And it's clarified by the world card, which is a card of completion. So he's really desiring 
this fulfillment. He wants to complete this journey. And so when this card comes up, this is really about, you know, meeting a goal. This is about realizing a dream. This is reflecting on what he needs right now in order to experience fulfillment. So going back to this card here is if he thinks it's beauty and money and all of those things that are material and superficial, that's not what is, that is not what is needed. And so this is, you know, the reflection of what he wants and how to achieve it. And that is coming to completion. So when this card comes up, this is about, you know, creating this vision in his mind, right? That he's most likely to achieve and then take action on it, um, no matter how small, in the direction of your dreams. And so as he's balancing out his pride and ego, as he's balancing out, you know, his inner and outer self, what he's really doing is he's also looking at what his dream is and how he wants to accomplish that and complete this cycle. So the guidance is, again, get out of your pride and your ego, balance that out so you can achieve this dream and complete this cycle. Okay, so the next card, this is where it's interesting because I had to get a whole bunch of clarifiers for it. Well, this guy got the magic of the Kaholan Druid. This is about caution, secrecy, wary, okay? And it came out with the High Priestess and the Seven of Cups. And so I'm just feeling like, you know, he's, there's some secrets here. There's some caution here against his feminine. And there's confusion. And so when I further clarified it, I got three cups, which to me is like, I was like, whoa, is that third party? But then I got seven of wands followed by the queen of pentacles. And for me, I feel like he's thinking his feminine is keeping secrets from him. Okay. So what's happening here? with this deck with this um with this this is the mermaid deck the oracle of mermaids by the way so when this comes up this is really about you know creating a symbol of who you are in your heart or what you want right so this is about again this energy is about like losing weight getting into the best shape this is about having more but having a better job like worrying about his age all of this stuff right so even in the book it says it's time for you to create a symbol of who you are in your heart it may be that you wish to dye your hair or transform your appearance. You may wish to lose weight or shape your body, blah, blah, blah. It may be that you have adopted a more conservative appearance to suit your age, your job. And But he's what he's doing is he's conditioning himself. But what this card is saying, that the colon druid is telling you, it's up to you to determine what it is that um, is at your peace. Okay, it's time is trying to tell you that you determine your appearance, your wellness, your body, your style. You need to determine who you are and choose more strictly who you interact with. Okay, so this is about symbols of appearance and clothes, and you know, and it's like he's almost hiding his authentic self. He's hiding his authentic self. Intuitively, he knows he shouldn't do that. That's the guidance. It's like, you know, don't hide behind this body this money this job use your intuition because when you don't it creates confusion when you don't there is this energy of defensiveness and guardedness against a feminine okay and then it's like you know there's this defensiveness where she feels like you are not being authentic and here you're not being authentic so he's not being authentic she's and she's having a hard time with the authenticity as well. And so at first sight, I first was like, he feels like the feminine is being authentic. Well, that's the mirror, right? That's the mirror. The mirror is if he feels like she's not, it's because he's not, because he's not being his authentic self. He's trying to package himself into who he thinks his feminine would want. Okay, so the advice to the masculine here is be who you are, use your intuition, don't get clouded in your judgment, because that is delaying this union, and it is creating a defensiveness and a guard and a block and a barrier between you and your feminine. The next card of advice uh, that we have for our masculine here is the path, and here I've used the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck, okay? Okay. And, um, and so we've got the path with the devil. 
So this path card, we've pulled it already. We've already pulled it once already. And so when this card comes out, this is really about a path being illuminated, okay? So the universe is really trying to help this masculine here. There's a path that's being illuminated. The way is open. The way is open. The path is open. The path is illuminated. It's time to begin the journey. It's time for him to respond and take action and be courageous and move forward. But he's stuck. He's feeling stuck in this 3D energy of money, of ego, of looks. So he's really feeling that he's not at his best at this time. And so here we go again in his ego, right? He's trying to figure out how to fulfill his dreams. He's trying to be somebody who he's not. He's trying to be who his feminine wants him to be. And it's clouding his confusion. This path has been illuminated to go into this portal to have this new beginning. But again, the advice is don't get stuck in your pride. Don't get stuck in your ego. His next message here is a blessing to find the truth. The truth of who he is. And then Page of Wands, create that. Create that. Communicate that. Find the truth. Find the truth of who you are. This is the number 25, which is the number 7. And so with this card, specifically in the deck, it's also saying that this is a blessing, right? To safeguard, uh, I'm sorry, this, it, it's to, to safeguard who he is, discover who he is, find the truth of who he is, and free himself, free himself to like create and be this person, all right? So this is really about being himself, transforming into his true self. His next card of guidance for the masculine is a spiritual quest and the six of coin. Just like he is on a spiritual quest, so is his feminine. They're both on the spiritual quest. And this is my Ganesha deck, okay? My Ganesha, Whispers of Ganesha Oracle deck. So when this card comes out, it's a number 40, which is a number four, which is all about stabilization, all about stability. This is about him being called to realize his full potential and choose to become a force for good in the world so that he can give and receive authentically again there is a lot here around don't be anyone other than who you are masculine and one two three four five six cards already out of nine we have already found that it is your guidance is be who you are. It is not your money, your title, your job, your looks, your body. It is not any of that that is important to the feminine. What's important to the feminine is what is in your heart. And now his next card of guidance is Supreme Protection. This is my uh, Keepers of the Light Oracle deck. Supreme Protection, Tara. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation and trust move with the knight of cups he's protected he's protected he's protected in his journey to move forward to his feminine in love in truth in who he is in his heart space his next guidance card your next guidance card for the masculine is honor and trust your feelings this is thank you archangel michael for supporting guiding and protecting me as i listen to and act upon my feelings do you see the progression here for the week, like he comes in kind of like egoish, realizes what he wants, gets into a little bit of a, of a challenge in his authenticity, and then sees that the path has been illuminated and that the 3D is really um, affecting him. But then he goes into this burst of inspiration to find the truth. He goes onto the spiritual quest to be the best version of himself. He realizes he's protected to move forward. And now he's honoring and trusting his feelings to help him understand and express his emotions with love. That's the Knight of Cups energy. And it's clarified by the tower. And this is the rebuild. Honor and trust your feelings. Remember, thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me. We just got the card of protection, Green Tara, for his movement forward in love. And it says, protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me to understand and express my emotions with love so that you can rebuild with your feminine again. Last and final message for our uh, masculine for his guidance. He's got the lesson of judgment for this week. This judgment is... I understand that everyone has their own unique paths and challenges, and it is here with the Ten of Wands. And in this one, it's different. 
He's like down now, man. That's like a lot of burden he's had in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. A lot of burden he's been carrying. And now we're ending the cycle. And he's seeing that everyone has their own path and unique challenge. And he doesn't need to make himself into anyone that he is not. And that is how he then releases the burden and cycles out to the ace, the ace of wands, okay? The bottom of the deck for um, him and his tarot is the nine of swords. So he's got a lot of stress in trying to be everything that he thinks that he needs to be. So now advice for our feminine. The first card we have here from the Chira Marchetti deck, this is about harmony and union and being in tune with others. And it's clarified by the eight of swords. And so she's having a hard time with this harmony and this union and being in tune with her masculine because he's a little off balance this week, okay? So her guidance is, you know, she's feeling a little stuck in her harmony, but his journey is his journey. So the guidance is be in harmony with yourself, be in harmony with your own self, in your union of self, and don't be stuck on the energies outside of you. Her next card here is about energy and the Ten of Swords clarified by the Magician. So in this deck, this energy card, which is a number 30, which is a number three about co-creation. This is all about energy. This is about thoughts and feelings being energy. Everything we think and feel flows into the world. What do they say? Your energy flows where energy energy goes where energy flows right or something like that and so she's focused a lot on you know this pain this ten of swords she's focused a lot on it okay that's why right out the bat she's not in harmony and she's feeling stuck and so this week remember in the reading she's dealing with pain she's dealing with deception and so she's focused a lot on this pain that she needs to release this is the ten of swords he's got the ten of wands right and so he's unleashing his burden. He's getting rid of his burden. She's getting rid of her pain. And so we have here then the magician that clarifies this. And it's saying she has the tools and resources. Your guidance is you have the wisdom. You have the passion. You have the stability. Okay. You have the emotions, the love to get through this pain and get into a better energy this week. The next card here is honor the masculine with the seven of pentacles. So this is saying to me that you've got to honor the masculine in you, but you've got to honor your masculine and the seven of pentacles. This is a card of pause. This is a card of patience. And it's, it's saying that while he is getting into his final evolution, okay, here in his authenticity, you've got to honor the masculine, respecting men, embracing the masculine divine. And so this is, this is a card of patience, of pause, of knowing that you're going to be able to reap, you know, or, you know, harvest something beautiful, but these things take some time. And right now it's time this week to honor your, the masculine. The next card that we have here is another card of patience. Your patience will be rewarded. Okay. Here's the sun card. So already we're saying the masculine's going through something this week. So the feminine, please be patient. Success is assured. Okay, this is very much about um, you will harvest success. You will, you really will. Look at this is the green corn moon. And when the green corn moon comes out in this deck, uh, this is all about, hold on, let me just get it for some additional messages for you guys. Hold on, sorry, I have way too many books happening over here. Uh, this was my blue. It's my Oracle of the Moon. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, 36, number nine. So this is, you know, her being in her, you know, um, in her own individual space at this time. So when this comes up, green corn moon, patience, enjoy the journey, not just the destination. The time has come to learn patience. I know you know that. I know you know that. So I won't continue. So it's like avoid the lure of instant gratification. Slow down. Take your time. Things are happening. You just can't see it yet. Be loving and patient, patient. He is going through a major cycle this week of his authenticity, of feeling comfortable in his own skin. And so now we have a blessing for solace and hope. And so it's saying like this card is, is saying, and it's clarified by the two of cups. So when this card comes out, it's telling you 
that you will you will have the blessing you there is hope for this connection we already know that we already know that there is a there is blessing there is hope okay this this is not personal we're he, being here is a great gift okay if there's any hopelessness um if we're feeling overwhelmed around our union the blessing is for you to find your way back to sweetness all right there is a blessing there is hope in this connection hope in this union so if this week you find yourself losing hope in this connection spirit is saying don't lose the hope that the union is there the union is there it's just time for honoring him and what he needs from you which is patience patience pause okay don't let that energy that we started with be part of this pain and stuck energy for you your next blessing here is to surrender surrender this connection at this time detach with de detach with attachment detach from the energy detach from expectations and outcomes and know that the divine has this has this protected for you okay surrender this need to be rigid and stubborn because you're not getting everything you want at this time surrender this energy of guardedness surrender that that is your advice the next advice that we have here is that with that surrender you can expect miracles it says here remember that only love is real miracles will occur naturally spirit has your back spirit has your back and it's clarified by the wheel we're going into a beautiful and destined time okay so your guidance is you can expect miracles surrender any timeline surrender this hold to, to union okay attachment with detachment don't feel hopeless your union is protected your masculine needs your patience and understanding at this time your next card says go forward fearlessly thank you for walking with me every step of the way for holding my hand giving me confidence and courage and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose and it is clarified by the four of wands this union is your purpose is your mission go forward fearlessly this union is destined and protected and finally her last card is peace I am a being of love and I release all negative energy, this stuck energy, this pain energy, this immediate gratification and instant energy, this hopelessness, this need to attach and hold on, this fear. Be at peace. You are a being of love. Release that negative energy and you will have your union, three of cups. Remember, we already got the three of cups here, which is what he's working towards as he's trying to be his authentic self. And so I say, clarify the three of cups for me. This is an offer. This is an offer in the 3D. We'll come through for union. But right now, he's learning a lesson. You're learning a lesson because he is going to evolve into this masculine. So be at peace. This union is there for you. But you cannot, you cannot control it. You cannot control it. So the net net message for our masculine is be your authentic self. Be who you are. It is not your money, your job, your title, anything in the 3D. The path has been illuminated for you. So spirit, the universe has illuminated this path to your fulfillment, to your union. Know that you will be your true self. Know that you are on the spiritual quest to be the best version of yourself and that you are protected. Your movement towards your feminine is protected. Honor and trust those feelings, masculine, and know that everyone's, everyone's journey is different and everyone's journey has challenges and lay down that burden for your new beginning. The bottom line for our feminine is get out of the stuck energy, get out of this pain that you continue to manifest for yourself over and over again. Be patient with your masculine during this time of pause this week. Success is assured. If you are feeling hopeless and um, solid, you need solace and you're feeling like this union is, is not going to happen, you've got to surrender that not going to happen to the universe. You've got to surrender that last 
three words, not going forwards, not going to happen. Four words, detach that, remove that. Know that your union is there. Expect miracles. We're going into a better time and go forward fearlessly into the four of wands energy, into your stability, because that is what will bring you peace, peace in your journey while your masculine is evolving into the emperor to come forward with his feelings and his love to rebuild with you, okay? Bottom of her deck, interestingly enough, is the 10 of wands, okay? And the bottom of the deck for the clarifiers is the eight of pentacles, which is telling me that through the stress that he's in, through the burden that she's in, that they're both working very hard at their connection and on themselves at this time. I hope this was um, helpful for you guys. I really do. I, I think I'm going to continue to do this um, weekly if I can um, as part of a follow-up to the reading. And um, yeah, let me know if this resonates. Let me know if you like this. And again, I've shifted my energies towards one big weekly check-in on the energies for the connection. And then I think I'm going to start doing this advice for the masculine and the feminine for the week. And then, um, you know, maybe some other things that I throw in as I feel guided. All right. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. And I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.